All right, advice. Bill, uh, I've heard you mention a few times that when you dedicated yourself to following your dream you sa- uh, as a comedian, you sacrificed everything to throw yourself completely into comedy. Um, then you usually say that on some level it was easier for you to put everything on the line because you were young and didn't have a lot to risk. I'm 37 years old. Oh, Jesus. With a wife and two young boys who are ages four and six. A year ago, I decided that I wanted to be a comedian. I've been doing open mics consistently for a year, and I feel like I have real potential. I know it takes a lot of time to get good. My problem is I can't pay this month's rent. I'm scared to get a better full-time job because it will take um, Mr. Away. It'll take me away from my dream. little typo there. When you are older and have responsibilities like kids and a wife, how do you justify taking risks to go for your dream? All right, dude. All right. This is a rough one for me to give you advice on because I had never, I've never been in that situation. And also, I never want to talk somebody out of, of doing what you want to do. You should definitely keep doing stand-up if that's what your heart's telling you to do. But as a man, you cannot have a wife and kids and not be able to pay the rent. All right? Um, you need to get a better full-time job, and you just need to fucking work harder and be more efficient when you go out to the club. If you've been hanging out a little bit, don't hang out at all. And, um, you know, it's what you're trying to do is not impossible. But I will tell you this. It, you, you can't. Look, who's kidding who? All right? The number one job of a man is to fucking provide. You have to provide for your family. If you're not, you know, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to say this, but a lot of the you ugh, women look at you like you're fucking useless. All right? That's like them without a fucking vagina. And I hate to reduce them as sex objects, but that's just how we view you. <laughs> fucking with you. But seriously, all right, you have to provide, okay? This is the thing. I think, you know, if your wife is cool, she will understand that you want to make this transition. But you have to make it as smooth as possible. You can't be in a situation where, you're, where you can't pay the fucking rent, all right? So um, I would get a better day job if you had to at this time. So you can pay the fucking rent and then you can burn it at both ends and do your stand up at night or whatever. Right. And then eventually when you start getting paid gigs with that, then you can start to phase out the fucking day job. All right. But uh, if I was you, I would sit down and have a heart to heart with your wife. So she gets where your head's at, you know, and just tell her, look, I really want to do this. But I understand my job as a man is I have to provide. So I, I this won't happen again. Yeah. You know. You got to have, you got to, you got to pay the fucking bills. <laughs> you know, you got to pay the fucking bills. It's just, it's your job as a guy. It really is. I don't give a fuck about all this equal rights and fucking independent women put your fucking titties in the air or whatever, however the fuck that goddamn song goes. All right. Providing is our job. That's our fucking job. We have to, you have to do it. Wait, you have to fucking do it. You know, what are you, fucking Stedman? You know, I guess that's okay if, you, if, you, if you're, you're, your chick is Oprah. 